Hello everyone, welcome to this month's community call number 34. I'm Samir, community manager at Crust, and I'm more than happy to get right on it. If there are any technical difficulties or anything regarding my parenting, please do let me know. So I'll just straight up jumping in. We can take a look at the mainnet status. The nodes still remaining a bit over 1600, accounts just a bit over 111,000. We have the validators at 70, candidates almost at 190, as well as guarantors. As well as replicas at 34. We can also look at that the storage orders are a bit over 2.774 thousand. As well as the storage power going up. So from the technology, all his historical network file computation has been fully activated with the current total network computing power being at 110 terabytes. New files will be automatically computed and activated when the set conditions are met. Just <clears throat> the performance optimization for the on-chain power computation has been completed to prevent block stalling issues. The Polkadot Crust parachain SWOT renewal was successful, extending the lease period to 24 terms. Kusama Crust Shadow Core Time renewal was also successful, as well as Crust Apps now being support Polkadot Crest Parachain and Kusama Crest Shadow. We're on the EIP 7588 has entered the last call phase, accepting final community review. Crest back contact and storage manager development is completed and has now been deployed on the Tone testnet for testing. The TGBot and Mini App have been launched on Telegram, and the Crustback SDK has been released, as well as the development of the documentation. <clears throat> Both of those links will be uploaded in the chat for reference later. So looking at the ecosystem, Crest Network integrates with Tone blockchain for free decentralized storage. We believe that this is quite a huge update and we are excited to, to be part of it. Another thing is the detailed course on Crust is now live on the EZA app. You can start building your first truly decentralized D app with Crest Network today. This is an awesome feature and I will link the the link to the App Store in the Telegram group chat, so you can check it out. We'd like to congratulate the Chainspec on its launch. On this platform, you can view data comparisons for Crust, Polkadot, and various other projects. And you can see, you can find Crust. If you search for it, it shows a lot of data about it. 
big upgrades on cross network we've optimized our on-chain system massively reducing computation load with batch processing and moving power calculations off-chain these enhancements boost efficiency cut costs and make our decentralized storage even more robust this is a major step in our journey to becoming the go-to infrastructure for decentralized storage across various blockchains a great summary graphic done by Polkadot Insider also, you can check it out. Here is the visual overview of the key points of cross-network upgrade. And we can see they are mentioning the batch aggregation process of work reports and off-chain batch calculation file power values. Cross-network is studio to announce the partnership between cross and U2U network. U2U network supported by Chain Capital is a cutting edge layer one blockchain known for its high performance, scalability, security, as well as reliability. Utilizing the advanced subnet and modular technology, especially with the deep in subnet designed for the real world applications, U2U network is indeed setting new standards. Cross Network is proud to announce the collaboration with Site AI. The Site AI testnet event is coming soon. Get ready to earn points. We'd like to stay tuned. We will update the progress with Site Network as soon as possible. Crust is now live with the Intract platform, introducing an innovative way to grow our community. To celebrate this partnership, we've, we are launching our first task with a thousand dollar reward to be shared between 20 lucky participants. And we know that the task is going with these submissions and wishing everyone good luck. And a bit more from the community side on August 3rd. Last month, Crust was invited by Wombok to join the Polkadot meetup organized in collaboration with Zhejiang University. We introduced Crust's underlying technology to all the attendees, sharing our latest developments and visions. Yeah, that was indeed a, a great event to, to share more about Crust. Crust also hosted a space with Excavate to talk about the partnership. It was last month on 8th. I, I had the pleasure of hosting the space from Crust size and we had the representatives from Excavate where we discussed their project in elevating the decentralized storage for real estate. Thrilled to have connected with the easy a up team in Hong Kong offline meetup where we launched the app and the crust part on their app where you, you can check it out. The list of judges for the Polkadot Hackathon in Singapore has been announced. This is a reminder, yeah, that the deadline is August 28th. Please take note, builders. Yeah, it's already passed. And for everyone who is participating, all the best. Crust Network joined the Twitter space by Impossible Quad Network to discuss the topic. Deep in our traditional infrastructure with Kaiser Network, Quad Next Gen, Symmetric Research, as well as AquaSafe Crypto. This was also a, a really interesting space where we got the chance to learn many different point of views and see how other projects think on the deep in versus traditional infrastructure. To celebrate Lox Loxodrome's countdown to TGE, complete the following tasks to claim your giveaway. And yeah, you can see the representation of it. Celebrate the launch of Black Meat Wukong. With us, Crust had the giveaway for four copies of 
the game to our community members. Kuras supports all dream teams and we believe in our own journey to success too. We had in another space where Kuras joined the Twitter space with OKG and explored the possibilities of the Telegram traffic in the crypto industry together where we discuss how to navigate the Web3 traffic era, which is to be held in, in the upcoming weeks, months, years. Polkadot is headed to Singapore for token 2049. Are you ready for the unforgettable Web3 experience top by boot? P247 and meet press there for anyone who will be participating. We look forward to meeting with you. And Cross joined a Twitter space hosted by Polysphere to talk about the Ethereum feature. Future. Sorry. Yeah, this was from the technical side on the updates. And now I can go over the community questions which we had in the task on Zilli and I'll get right on them. First one being, what are the differences in the relationship between CRUST and IPFS? So the difference is at first IPFS is a protocol for decentralized file storage, but it doesn't provide a built-in incentive layer for maintaining long-term data availability. And CRUST Network, on the other hand, is a decentralized storage platform which is built on top of IPFS, but with an incentive layer to ensure reliable, persistent data storage through economic rewards for node operators. So how this relates to each other is that CRUST extends IPFS by adding this incentive layer, making it more reliable for the decentralized applications that need guaranteed storage and retrieval over time. CRUST integrates seamlessly with IPFS, allowing data to be stored on the IPFS to be managed in a decentralized way through CRUST's global network of nodes. This makes CRUST a complementary value adder layer to IPFS supporting the decentralized incentivized data storage. Second question being, what's TEE and what's it wrote in CRUST? How is it related to CRUST? So TEE is, stands for Trusted Execution Environment is a secure area of processor that ensures sensitive data is processed in an isolated, trusted environment, protected from outside interference or tampering. So how is it related to CRUST? In CRUST network, the TEE plays a crucial role by securing and validating off-chain storage proofs. These storage proofs verify that data is correctly stored on the decentralized nodes, the TE environment ensures that the data management process is secure and tamper-proof, enhancing trust in the storage network. This is the key to cross decentralized storage solution, maintaining integrity and reliable across the network. And our roadmap we plan to actively develop these key technology in the future. Moving on, how does CRUST network ensure security and privacy of users' data in decentralized storage environment? And what mechanisms are in place to prevent data breaches or unauthorized access while maintaining the integrity of the stored information? So CRUST ensures the security and privacy through multiple mechanisms. One being the encryption. Data is uh, encrypted before being uploaded to the network, ensuring that even storage nodes cannot access the content. DT, as mentioned, as mentioned before, this ensures that storage proofs verify data availability are processed securely and without tampering. 
Decentralized storage by distributing data across multiple nodes globally trust minimizes risk point for single points of failures or attack. And we have proof of storage and stake. Nodes must prove that they store the correct data and stake tokens as collateral, analyzing dishonest behavior to prevent breaches or unauthorized access. And these combined mechanisms uphold data privacy, integrity, and security. So moving on, we have what specific milestone is this project hoping to achieve by the end of the year? We've seen so many partnership in essence. Is all of, are all of them to achieve our particular goal? And if they are, what is it? So Cross Network is aiming to solidify its position as a leading decentralized storage provider by achieving several specific milestones by the end of the year. The primary goal is to enhance its infrastructure to become the go-to solution for the decentralized storage across multiple blockchain ecosystems. And this includes, for example, expansion of the ecosystem integrations. Crust is integrating with various ecosystems, including Ethereum layer tools like Arbitrum, Optimism, and Base as well as supporting Polygon, Algorand, and Ton. By the end of the year, Crust aims to expand this integration to more blockchains and ecosystems, thus enhancing its utility and adoption. Enhancing data and security, Crust is focusing on improving its data security by implementing the zero-knowledge proof technologies the goal is to enhance privacy and ensure that data stored within its network is protected against breaches. Scaling storage solutions. As well, Crust is working on optimizing its on-chain computation and file power processing to scale its decentralized storage services, making them more efficient and adaptable for high demand use case like NFTs, DApps, and Web3. We also have the Ton ecosystem customization. A significant milestone is the release of customized storage tool for the Ton ecosystem, which could potentially integrate with Telegram. This partnership is part of Crest's broader strategy to make the decentralized storage accessible to a wider user base. All of these partnership and developments contribute to Crust's overreaching goal of becoming the primary decentralized storage solution across a diverse blockchain of systems by the end of the year. And moving on, we have what innovative solutions does Crust Network bring to the decentralized cloud storage that sets it apart from the traditional cloud services. So Crust Network introduces several innovative solutions to the decentralized storage that differentiate it from traditional services. So at first it's decentralization. Unlike centralized providers, for example, I don't know, AWS, Crust uses a global network of nodes which ensures data availability, redundancy, and protection from single points of failure. It also has an incentive layer through the blockchain technology, Crust rewards nodes for storing data, guaranteeing long-term reliability. Another thing is privacy and security. The data is encrypted and stored across multiple nodes, protecting it from unauthorized access with no central authority controlling the data. And another thing, being cost efficiency. So Cross Network offers cost efficiency by leveraging its decentralized infrastructure. Traditional quiet services require large centralized data centers with significant operational cost. Crust, on the other hand, distributes storage across a global network of independent nodes, eliminating the need for centralized maintenance. And this decentralized approach 
reduces overhead and enables lower price for users. So with this being the five questions selected from the Z task for the community call, I'd like to wrap it up and thank everyone for joining and participating with us. I encourage you to be on the lookout on both Telegram, Discord and Twitter for any updates coming from Crust. And yeah, once again, thank you everyone. And I wish you all a nice upcoming weekend. Bye-bye.